Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. Ooh, make sure I clean this off real quick. There we go, nice clean surface. Had some clay residue from some of the sculptures I was making, but uh, let's begin, shall we? This is part two of my brand new, of my, well, my nostalgic, I guess you could call this a card opening. Should put my backdrop there. I got this, got this beautiful piece of black walnut as part of my backdrop back here. There we go. But uh, if you watched my, if you if you got the chance to see my previous video, if you want to, you can click that right here, uh, up on the top right corner. But uh, with me getting into Yu-Gi-Oh, as you can see, I got my I got my Pharaoh Atem head bust that I did with the hairdo, which looks so it's so weird the hairdo. It it's so strange yet it's become so iconic. With the series over the years and uh of course i've got my little millennium totem right here with the three colors and then if you saw the video that i did last time i have my these are my brand new sleeves because i decided to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was a big game it was a big deal in my younger and mid teenage years like I said, I watched seasons one through five of the first Duel Monsters, and I, I did watch a little bit of GX, but with the newer characters, I couldn't quite get into it. And plus, I was uh, I was growing up, which I'll be honest, it's kind of tough to tough to grow up when you got something this cool. But I got these brand new sleeves here. So you can see, I, these are the cards that I actually got in the last one. Now I've got envelopes sitting just off camera. And I haven't opened them yet. I have no idea. I didn't look ahead of time. I have no idea what the new cards that just showed up are. But here are the ones that I've had so far. Of course, I had the Raging Flame Sprite. The Blast Juggler. The Spirit of Flames, which I'm, I'm big on fire types, so I, I stick with the fire types. Of course, I have Final Flame. And this one has the Silver Lettering. Got the Diane Keto, the Cure Master. This is a great card. You got the Mystic Walk, which for me, this is a new card. Of course, you can see the difference between Spell Card and Magic Card down there. It's sort of, they, like I said before in the last video, they changed it from Magic to Spell. And then I got the Trap Cards, Draining Shield, which is a really good one. Then I have the Enchanted Javelin, which is an OG. This is a great card. And then, of course, the card that uh, was the highlight of my opening, the Winged Dragon of Ra. This is this is an awesome thing for me. This is a card I've always wanted but never had. But enough about the old cards. Why don't we get into the new ones, shall we? Or at least the new ones that I haven't even seen myself yet. Hey, you know what, Ra? You can you can stay right up here in the corner. Stay right up next to Atem. There we go. Because I explained in the last video that I've got pl I got a lot more cards coming. And uh, I'm getting all of my cards from different verified sellers from TCG Player. So let's go ahead and get that started. So the first envelope I have here is from Big City Cards. And I feel there's quite a bit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this open. Now, the cards are normally wrapped in a receipt, so I just want to make sure that I get the card. I'm trying to feel for it right here. I feel it. It's in there somewhere. Hold on. i got to take it right off camera. I don't know where it is. Where is it? It's pretty tightly wound in there. Oh man, I can't can't quite get it out of the envelope. Okay, there we go. Pull that out. Okay, now these cards could have these these sleeves and these protectors that I have on here. These cards could have multiple. So at this point, I have no idea. Okay, where's the bottom of the card? Okay, there it is. I I haven't looked at it. I have no idea what it is, but this is from Big City Cards. And from the looks of it, it looks. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like a regular Yu-Gi-Oh card, but it's in this protective cover. It looks like a single card, but let's go ahead and flip it over. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh, how cool. This is a card that I had back in the day. This is an OG. This is Salamandra. The great card that Joy Wheeler would always use to power the Flaming Swordsman. Yeah, look, equip only to fire monsters. They gain 700 attack points. Oh, this is some nostalgia here. Here, hang on. Will it come out? I gotta put you in a sleeve anyway. Now with this one in particular, can't see, where does it say down there? I can't remember which one this one's from, but the lettering, as you can see, is purple. And that is, I don't know, I mean, that doesn't really make this card very rare, because you can get these in holographic with uh, gold lettering or silver lettering. But I just thought the purple was just so unique. So I had to, I had to get it in purple. That's so cool. All right, you're going to go in a sleeve. Salamandra. And one of the cards coming is also the Flaming Swordsman. And, of course, the two cards that he fuses into, which are the Flame Manipulator and Masaki Legendary Swordsman. Those are all going to be... Those are on the way, so they should come soon enough. Let's go ahead and put you in your sleeve. Oop, hold on. Some sort of dirt or something on the inside of there. All right, come on, come on. Yeah, I try to get these cards, try to put them in, I try to get them in mint condition or lightly played. So some of these cards may have a little bit of whitening, but once again, a lot of these cards are fairly old. But as you can see, this is a Salamandra, but it's fairly new because it's the spell card, not the magic card, but it's also an equip card. That's what this plus symbol means. Oh, Salamandra. Oh, how cool. All right. So let's make some room here. So Salamandra was the first. And now I have another one here. This is from MTG CCGs and more from Virginia. There's, there, ooh, there's a lot in here. There is a lot in this envelope. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna just rip it open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it open here with my little detail scissors here. Those are the scissors I normally use to cut. Okay, so there we go. So let me see here. Oh, let's see here. Okay, so I didn't peek. Oh, look at that. There's multiple cards in here. Oh boy, this is gonna be cool. Okay. Oh, look, it's two-tiered, <laughs> and they're all facing the same direction. Oh, this is cool. Okay, hold on. Oh, God, I'm excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and go ahead and take those apart, make them separate. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since there's multiple cards in here, I'm going to slide out. Let's see, can, these, oh, can this open up? Can this open up somehow? I don't want to reveal it. Tell you what, I'm going to be putting these in individual sleeves anyway, so. Oh my god, these look like they were like sealed almost. All right, there we go. Okay, so I can, I'm going to open these up and I'm going to reveal them one by one. So let me go ahead and cut this open here. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Don't, don't reveal it. Now, this is as much of a reveal for, for me as it is for you guys. I have no idea what these cards are. It's almost like a pack opening, but instead it's cards that I individually purchased instead of just uh, just cards that, you know... Okay, so let's start off. I'm going to start off with the left side and then go with the right side. So, put the right side off to the side. Let's start with the left side. Oh, God, I don't know what this is going to be, but we're going to start off with the card in the front. Let's pull it out and reveal it. Oh, this is one of the ones I had when I was a kid, the Fire Sorcerer. This is a great card. Let's read the effect. Randomly select two cards from your hand and remove them from play to inflict 800 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. Now, this is the style that I like to play. I play fire cards, and I also play cards that both bolster my life points and also attack the opponent's life points directly, bypassing sort of attacking their monsters. I did, I, that was actually a pretty effective strategy when I was a kid, when I played it younger. When I played it when I, when I was a younger age. But cards have changed a lot over the last, goodness, the last 15 years since the last time I played this. Let's 
been a long time with fire sorcerer. That's the first one, so let me go ahead and put you in your sleeve. Oh, I do love these sleeves, by the way. It's all nostalgia here, people. Nostalgia. These may not be these may not be big cards for you guys, but they're big for me. So there we go. There's the fire sorcerer. So you're going to go right next to Salamandra. And now. How many more left? Oh, there's, oh, there's, a, there's a bunch of them here. Okay. So, pull out the next card. Let me see. This one's pretty... This one has seen better days, but let's reveal it. Oh, this one is a great one. Okay. This is one of my favorite fire cards, and this is a new card that I haven't, that I haven't had, but I, this was the first one that I bought. This was the first one that I ordered on TCG, the Ultimate Baseball Kid. And of course, I got it in first edition. I just had to. This is such a cool card. Okay, let me read the effects. This is one of the reasons. This is the reason why I bought it. So increase the attack of this card by a thousand points for each fire monster on the field, other than this card. So if I have other fire monsters on the field, I gain it by a thousand per monster. And it says send a fire monster other than this card to the graveyard to inflict five hundred points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. This is one of the reasons why I wanted this card. Of course, it's got a little bit of. A little bit of whiting there. It's it's seen it's seen better days as you can see in the back. It's pretty it's pretty beat up, but this one is a lightly played. And it's just a freaking cool card. I love the ultimate baseball kid. Alright, you are gonna go in your sleeve. Like so. The ultimate baseball kid. Hello. Alright, let's make some room over here. Here, I'm gonna put these sleeves to the side. This is weird. I never thought I'd be doing a card reveal video, but once again, this is all more or less nostalgia for me. Okay. How many cards are left? There's four more. Okay, I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit. Okay, reveal. This is an OG from, from my childhood. Although this is a newer version, because it's spell card, not magic card, but this is Ukazi. Once again, inflict 800 points of direct damage to your opponent's life points. Of course, I got this one in first edition as well, which isn't really worth very much. It's more or less just for me. But this is another fire card that I just had to have when I was growing up. One that I had in my one that I had in my main my main dual deck. So let's go ahead and put you in a sleeve. I can't believe I'm putting these cards in a sleeve. Oh, this is this is cool, man. I hope you I hope you folks watching this are enjoying this as much as I am. These may not be the most you know iconic cards. I mean, nothing like raw. But uh, we'll see if any of those other cards are coming. So I got the next card. Reveal. Oh, yes. Another one from my childhood. And another one famous from Maximilian Pegasus, the Digin Bakudan. The infamous Time Bomb. This card nearly ended the duel between Maximilian Pegasus and Yugi in the end of, the, uh, in the end of Duelist Kingdom in Season 1. Of course, here's the effect. Flip. After this card is flipped, offer as a tribute during your standby phase to destroy all monsters on your side of the field and inflict direct damage equal to half of the total attack of the destroyed cards, excluding this monster, to your opponent's life points. So the idea was is that you would have you would either have monsters, and this would be like a sort of like a basically like a kamikaze. This was a kamikaze card for sure. Oh, Jigen Bakudan. Yeah, Maximilian Pegasus, his cards. His cards are some of my favorites. Of course, you have Toon World with the Toon cards. And you also have, later on, you had the Wind-Up Toys, which were a, which were really cool. And then, of course, you have the Shadow cards like Relinquished. Uh, you have Dark Eyes Illusionist. You have the Thousand Eyes Restrict with Thousand Eyes Idol. And then you have the newer cards. You have the Millennium Eyes Idol, the Millennium Eyes Illusionist, and the Millennium Eyes Restrict which are newer cards that have come out within the last couple of years. I, re I really want to get those. So there's Jigen Bakudan. There's Pegasus's fire card. Oh. Then there's the next one, Fire Ayu. This is an original. As you can see here, Legend of Blue Eyes. What an awesome card. So that's Fire Ayu. Sorry, I kind of, kind of flipped over and I forgot that there was another card there. I wanted to wait... But this is another, just another fire monster that was the one that I had when I was a kid. Nothing special. Just a cool fire card. 
I like the fire cards. They definitely worked out with my sort of playing style. Because for me, the opponent was never the uh, the monsters, but it was always the opponent its opponent themselves. So this is a pyro, a malevolent creature wrapped in flames that attacks enemies with intense fire. <laughs> you get 1,300 attack and 1,000 defense. And this is a card that you can equip with Salamandra. So there's fire at you. And now the final card. Let's reveal it. Oh, yes. This is a new card, one that I wanted and haven't had. Firestorm Prominence. This card is crazy good. As you can see, it's a giant flaming crocodile, which is just cool on its own. Of course, I got it in first edition, just because I could. It's got 2,000 attack, 1,500 defense, and then here's the effect. Listen to this. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, destroy all face-down and non-fire monsters. This thing is crazy good. You could wipe out an entire enemy's field if they have no fire cards at all. It's basically like, like once again, it's a it's a, you know, you're gonna take me out, I'm gonna take you with me kind of kind of card. It's just really, really cool. Look at that Firestorm Prominence. This is a much newer card. So there we go. There's Firestorm Prominence. Okay, now we're getting to the second. Now we're getting to the second half here. I don't know what's going to be here, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, here's the first card. Reveal. Ooh, this is a newer one for me. Backfire. This is a continuous trap card. So let's read the effects. When a fire monster on your side of the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it inflicts 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. Now, with this being a continuous trap card, when you play it on the field, it stays there unless it gets either discarded or destroyed. It does not have to be discarded after the next turn. It stays on the field. you got that infinite sign there. It's a continuous trap card. So every time one of my monsters gets destroyed, it inflicts 500 points of direct damage to the opponent's life points. Which works well in my strategy because it's based on fire monsters. So that's Backfire. That's a new card that I saw on TCG Player that I that I really wanted because it once again it was really effective with the strategy that I have. Once again, attacking the opponent, not the opponent's monsters. Because when the opponent has less life points, it's less life points that they can use to summon new monsters, and they become a little bit more frantic, as I should say. So there's Firestorm Prominence. Alright, let's get to the next one. All right, reveal. Oh, yes. The Solar Flare Dragon. This is a newer card, one that I haven't had before. Look at this Pyro effect. This card cannot be attacked if there's another Pyro type monster on your side of the field, kind of like Fire Ayu. Fire Ayu's a Pyro. This card inflicts 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points during the end phase of your turn, and that's every single one of your turns. It inflicts another 500. So imagine you play this monster and then play Backfire. You inflict a thousand points of damage if a if a monster gets destroyed it's just that this is this is a really good strategy but and plus look at that art that looks just like volvagia from legend of zelda ocarina of time that's one of the reasons why i wanted this card the fire dragon from the fire temple the one that ate all the gorons <laughs> that's just so cool the solar fire dragon there's also a couple of cards that I've gotten, and one of them, which was sort of like a, a play on the Dark Magician, which I didn't know, there was one called the Blast Magician, which is a fire uh, spellcaster, which I have coming. And I'll be showing off that card once it, sh once it, comes, uh, once it comes to my house. Solar Flare Dragon. So there we go. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Reveal. Yes, this is an OG. An OG from my old deck, Fire Princess. Yeah, that's an awesome artwork, but here's the effect. Each time you increase your life points, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. And you can see a trend here. This is the type of cards that I like to use, attacking the opponent directly without having to worry about uh, worrying about attacking through their monsters and attacking their life points that way. Sort of burning them down slowly but surely. Oh man, this is a great card. 1300 attack, 1500 defense. That's another really, that's a fun card. That card got me out of a couple sticky situations a few times. When I dueled, when I do, I, I never really dueled professionally, but I mean, professionally, like I've never done any real tournaments or anything. But I played around with friends and they were, 
That one was a notorious one. Fire Princess. All right, next one. Reveal. Yes, another favorite from me growing up. Fushi no Tori, the Firebird. Oh, this one's cool. Let me read the effect. This card cannot be special summoned. This card returns to the owner's hand during the end phase of the turn that this card is normal summoned or flipped face up. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, increase your life points by the amount equal to the battle damage. So if you, have, if this is at 1,200 and you attack a monster and then the difference is just subtracted from their life points, you add that difference back to your life points and then this card goes back to your hand. So there's no chance, for, there's a very rare chance that this thing could be destroyed. It is unless if it's face down or if it's in, of course, defense mode. Fushino Tori, that's one from my childhood. Oh, that's so cool to have this card again. Oh, I like this card. I still love that artwork. Look at that. Giant flaming. I, I like phoenixes. It's one of the reasons why I like the Winged Dragon of Raw so much. Because, of course, the Immortal Phoenix mode, which that card is coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. Okay, how many, how many do I have left here? I have three left. Okay, so let's, let's do the one on the top. Reveal. Ooh, this is another one, another one that I grew up with, the Flame Ruler. Oh, this is cool. If you tribute someone a fire monster, you can treat this as a monster. You can treat this monster as two tribute monsters for the tribute summon. That's awesome. So this is a card that can be... So if you tribute summon a fire monster, you can treat this as a monster as two tributes. So if you treat... So let's say, for instance, if I had... The Flame Princess in this, I would have enough monsters right off the bat to summon Ra. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I liked that card. Although the god card that I had growing up was the uh, was a Slifer of the Sky Dragon, or the Winged Dra or the Sky Dragon of Osiris. That was the god card that I had, but that was a fake card that I had gotten from a friend. So come here, Flame Ruler. Oh, this is cool. What a cool card. Look at that. That's so awesome. So as you can see, yeah, I've got I've got a pretty decent I've got a pretty decent uh duelist deck here. So let's see the next one. Oh yes, Wildfire. This is a card that I didn't have, but this is a this is a uh like a reactionary magic card or spell card. So if you get attacked, you can then use this as a retaliatory move. Let's read the effect. This is the first edition as well. Pay 500 life points, destroy all face-up Blaze Accelerator cards you control, and destroy all monsters on the field. Then special summon one Wildfire token, Pyrotype fire level 3, attack 1,000, defense 1,000, and attack position. Also, you cannot declare an attack this turn. Now, I do have the Blaze Accelerator cards coming. I have three of them. They're going to be on the way. And I also have another Blaze Accelerator card, but uh, that one is also on the way, but that one has to do with this big guy over here. Oh, that's gonna be cool. So this is Wildfire. This is another card that can be used to wipe out cards on the, on your opponent's side of the field. And plus that artwork, it just, that looks so cool. All right, let's go ahead and put you in your sleeve, like so. I didn't add this one before, but this one actually fits with my dueling style. And now, last but not least, this is the final card of the video. Reveal. Oh, how cool. Oh, it's hollow. Oh, yes, please. This is the Phoenix Beast Gyruda. This is one card that I didn't have. And this is the first card out of all the monsters I have that's different from fire. This is a wind type. This one's a little different. This is a winged beast, first edition. Let's look at the let's look at the effect. If this card attacks your opponent's monster, this card gains 300 attack during the damage step only. So when it damages an opponent, when it when it attacks a monster, it then gains 300 attack afterwards. And it's already at 2500. So this th I mean this is on par with the dark magician. Oh, look at the hollow. How cool is that? And look at the flames in the background. This may not be a fire type, but it certainly goes with the theme of my phoenix type monsters especially you got these three right here the three phoenixes oh how cool look at that Ooh, there's the thumbnail <laughs> 
So let's go ahead and let's leave Gyruda. That almost reminds me a little bit of uh, like Digimon. Like I said, I showed my one Digimon card that I have, my first edition uh, Hercules Kabuterimon. And then uh, I had, it's almost like Garudamon, which was uh, Birdramon's ultimate form. Oh, how cool. What a way to end, end on a holographic. I didn't even plan for that. <laughs> it's just funny how that works. Well, these are all my brand new cards. So let's go ahead and show them off, shall we? Okay, Ra, actually you can stay right over there, Ra. Well, Tim, you can go right over here. So, so I got Phoenix Beast Sky Ruta. I got Fushinatori, Wildfire, Flame Ruler, Fire Princess. Let's move these down here. Firestorm Prominence, Fire IU, Jigen Bakudan, Ukazi. The Ultimate Baseball Kid, Fire Sorcerer, Salamandra, Fire Princess, and then of course, Solar Flare, and Backfire. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, you guys. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I have. This is a long video, much longer than I normally do. But these are all the cards that I have so far. Uh, let me check the packages, make sure. No, that's... Oh, fair enough. Sorry, I was just reading a note from the seller. So, let's go ahead and add in my other cards. Javelin, Draining Shield, that. Wow, I got a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and separate. We got the monsters here. So I got Spirit of Flames, Blast Juggler, so Solar Flare, Dragon, Flame Ruler, the Ultimate Baseball Kid. Oh, these are cool. There's Fushino Tori. There's Gyruda, Fire Princess, Firestorm Prominence, me being from Florida. <laughs> this card is just too cool. And then Fire Sorcerer, and then I got Bakudan, and Fire IU. So those are the monster cards, and then the, and then the magic cards. Ukazi, Wildfire, Final Flame, Diane Keto. Mystic Walk, and then Salamandra in purple as well. I figured that was fitting because uh, Flame Swordsman is a fusion card, so I figured purple would actually give it a little nod to the Flame Swordsman. Just thought that was cool. And then the three trap cards I have, I got Enchanted Javelin, Draining Shield, and Backfire. So let's put those together. And look at that. <laughs> that, got, that got to be a lot real quick. And then, of course, last but not least, Ra. I'm keeping this one in the uh, solid for now. I may add it to my deck later, but there you go, you guys. That's my reveal for the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have. Still got plenty of sleeves to go, and I have a lot of cards that are going to fill up these sleeves over the next few days. So thank you so much for watching this, and stand by. Soon enough, I will, I will, uh, I will uh, upload part three of my Nostalgia Yu-Gi-Oh! card reveals. <laughs> I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. And with that, I will see you all next time for part three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! card reveals.